So how can you safely share your passwords? In this video, I'm going to share with you how to safely share passwords using a free software tool and most importantly, how to avoid common tech hiccups. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rhonda Melogy and I'm a system strategist. My goal is to protect your most valuable asset, your time. I do that by designing systems to streamline your business and life processes. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I publish a new video every Tuesday. So maybe you're building a team or you're working with a client or you just need to share a password. How do you do it? And how do you avoid the tech hiccups? I'm going to recommend that you use LastPass, which is a password manager that stores encrypted passwords online. Let's hop on over to the dashboard and I'm going to walk you through step by step how to set up the dashboard, how to safely share your passwords, and avoid the common tech headaches. So we're in the LastPass dashboard. Now two things. Number one, if you are sharing a password with your team, then you will have a LastPass account. If your client is going to be sharing passwords with you, then it is your client who is going to want to create the LastPass account and then they will share those passwords with you. So in order to create account, you're going to go to lastpass.com. You'll fill out all the information. It is free. So then you click sign up. It's free. All right, so now we have created the account, whether it is you sharing maybe with your team or now it is your client who has created an account for themselves and they are sharing passwords with you. How do you get that information? All you need to do is you see, you scroll down here to the lower right hand corner, you'll see this big red button with a plus sign in the middle. As soon as I hover over, I have a menu. I can add a new folder so you can organize this information by let's say for example, team, or maybe you wanna put all your Google products. So you organize it however you want. You can share just a specific item and I will show you how to do that and we can add a secure note. Now to add a site this is how we are going to get you can see if we scroll down here all of the different things that I am sharing here in my last pass so if I click add site it's really important that the URL that is listed here is the login URL for that software okay so whatever it is whatever password they're trying to share with you or that you were trying to share with your team that login URL goes right here. I recommend that you put the name of the software. If you have organized things by folders, that information would be here and it would be in a drop down. Then you want to add the username to log in to the software, and then you can add the password. And then all you would need to do is to click save. Okay, so it's obviously coming up an error because I didn't put anything in. Now, once that information is in here, you can share this information very easily. So for example, I have Zapier. Now, the reason why you wanted to put the URL, the login URL, is when I click launch, then it's going to immediately launch and log me in. If I want to share Zapier with a new team member, all I would need to do is to come over to the little icon. As soon as I hover over, it says share. I can click and then I can put the recipient's email and then I can click share. Okay. If I need to edit, I can click on the little wrench and I can edit the information there. Or if I want to get rid of this, say this is a program I'm no longer using then I can simply click the little trash can. Now, if I wanted to very quickly, if I've got all my information in here about my various accounts and I just wanted to share that item, all I'd have to do is to click on the little people icon. I would enter their email in. Now you don't wanna click allow recipient to view password because then they would be able to see your password. So you would just enter in the email address and then you could go through the various accounts that you have that you would want to share and then all you have to do is click share. They are going to get an email, and all they need to do is to open the email, accept the share, and then they are going to be able to access your password. So now I'm gonna give you two tech tips when it comes to LastPass. I have seen in many groups where people will have issues accessing passwords through LastPass. 
My recommendation is that you install the LastPass Google Chrome extension here, as you see that I have, and you are less likely to have an issue with being able to access passwords. Now, tip number two is that what I have found when I am using Squarespace and I try to share the Squarespace password with a team member, sometimes LastPass will assign a password to a page. So my recommendation, if you are using Squarespace or your client has a Squarespace site and they are trying to share that information is to find a different workaround. Otherwise, you could find yourself where People are trying to access the page and then it is now password protected. So just really quickly, LastPass is a great option to share passwords. You can share passwords with your team or a client can share passwords with you. Now you have a step-by-step -step tutorial to help you set up LastPass for yourself or help your new client. Look for a link in the description for all of the product information mentioned in today's video. If you have found this video helpful, I wish you would show me some love and tap on the heart and leave a comment. If you want to join a community of women just like you, I have a private Facebook group, Strategy by Design, where I share free workshops and guest experts to help you build a profitable and irresistible online presence.